This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a super fantastic day. We're in the midst of the COVID pandemic and the elections uh, for the uh, president are just a few months away. And, and uh, it's, a, it's an amazing time of year, uh, the fall semester for 2020 for a lot of students out there. Either they're in the class or doing some distance learning. In my wife's case, uh, she's teaching distance learning in the uh, fourth bedroom. She has her studio set up so she can teach students at the university her art history courses uh, from her uh, room down there, little home office. Today I wanted to give my opinion and uh, commentary on the subject of uh, full-time RVers and their RV channels, okay? And the disparity between what people perceive and what they, what's, what's the reality. And I was watching a TV show, uh, <clears throat> this guy, The Wingman, and I was also watching another show, and they're commenting that these individuals are uh, suffering <laughs> because they have to shoot so much video to uh, maintain that lifestyle. And instead of RVing, instead of fishing, hiking, enjoying the great American outdoors, enjoying camping. They're focused on producing YouTube videos. I wanted to take a contrary opinion, uh, you know, a different take on uh, what's going on, okay? There's different people out there producing YouTube videos. <clears throat> Some people are becoming quite successful. For example, there's uh, one individual, a young man, who uh, became an expert over, he used to live in an RV and then he, he was very much involved in uh, the production of, uh, of uh, systems for uh, solar panels on his roof and he helped a lot of other individuals. And now he's, been, he's quite the maven, he's quite the expert on solar panels, solar energy and the electronics. He actually has a background in electronics, a very solid background. So. From living in an RV, now he has a home in Las Vegas, a nice home, and he produces these videos. He has a nice, you know, a nice lifestyle, drives a Tesla, all that sort of stuff. And that's just over the last few years because he's be producing these YouTube videos. He's become an influencer. So these influencers can make a lot of money. It's not negative for them to shoot a video. On the contrary, they enjoy producing a video because they know it's going to allow them to have the freedom to buy a nice house, the freedom to put food on the table, the freedom to do some travel, the freedom to produce, uh, you know, and have some fun. You know, they, they actually enjoy, that's their genre, that's their niche. That's what they know, electronics, solar panels, how to install solar panels, the, you know, different, you know, different types of batteries that are used for solar arrays, okay? And then you got people living in the middle of the desert of Arizona, used to, uh, they live in their vans and stuff like that, and they now have a house. <laughs> because why? Because they made some money producing YouTube videos, and they talk about the jackeries and all these different, uh, you know, uh, you know, systems where you can just charge them via alternating current, DC current, or solar panels, PV. And uh, now he has a very nice uh, lifestyle. Even his beard is growing a lot longer. And the, and the hobo is now doing quite well. On his website, he even says, don't contact me. I'm too busy. Don't contact me. I'm too busy. You can leave a message below in the description because that helps my YouTube algorithm. But don't call me. Don't leave an email message. Don't even try to get a hold of me. He's doing that well. So he's living his dream. He'll go still, you know, cruise around in his uh, van once in a while, but he has now a nice house with on top of a mountain with a nice view of the Arizona hills. Sweet. So, again, another YouTube success story. Another individual who, who calls himself a tramp, uh, you know, is very prominent in the YouTube community. He uh, lives in uh, a van, apparently, and he has a large, large beard and long hair. Looks, you know, looks pretty rough. 
and he talks about pooping in a bucket and uh, living in the back of his van and isolating himself and that you too can live this lifestyle too. <laughs> if you're evicted from your home, you can live in a van. Why not? Live in a van. Just, just go for it. It's a great opportunity for you to become more independent. So he does this, but he also stays with family in Florida, stays with family in Oregon. Uh, it's, you know, getting pretty close to, from what I understand, you know, a six-figure income annually from YouTube, selling his product services and uh, you know, stuff like that. So he's doing pretty good. He looks like a bum. He poops, still poops in a bucket once in a while. He doesn't show you how he does it, but he poops in a bucket. And so he's doing very, very well. So it's working for him. He produces a video once a week. Sometimes he goes and has these events, these rendezvous, and he shoots a bunch of videos. And then over the year, he shows these videos and makes money on them. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of dollars from YouTube, okay? So he's doing pretty good. Is he suffering? No. Because, you know, you got to, you know, a lot of people enjoy being in a position of power and independence. You become an expert. Hey, that's empowering. How would you like to be an expert? If you're uh, great at cooking, would you like everybody to say, hey, ah, uh, you know, Jane or Joe, they're fantastic at cooking. I watch their videos. I love what they do. I get inspiration from what they're doing. Would you like that? So a lot of people like that adoration, that, uh, you know, that celebrity status. Then you have families, you know, children, adults, and they travel around the country in their RV. First, it's one cheap RV, then it's a better RV, then it's a better RV. Now it's a fantastic RV. They got a big truck. They got uh, sponsorship for the truck and the RV, the tires, the suspension, all the different modifications, the solar, the list goes on. These individuals have a business. They're an independent contractor, just like you or I. You know, some people go out there and have to mow the lawn in the sun all day, and that's their business. They have the, the little trailer in the back, and they go from house to house, and they mow the lawn. Other people, you know, go to the office and uh, treat, you know, their doctors, and they treat people coming into their office, and they help them, and they prescribe medicines, and they go to conventions, and they travel around the world, and they play some golf, and, and that's their lifestyle. That is a certain lifestyle. You understand the lifestyle. You embrace the lifestyle. You are a doctor. You are a, you know, a, a person that does landscaping. You are a plumber. You are a clerk at the dollar store. That is your life. That is how you make your money. You embrace it. You go, that's what I'm doing. It's putting food on the table. It's helping me out. It's getting things done. I pay my taxes, you know, you know. So that's, that's a lifestyle. So a YouTube lifestyle is not something to scoff at. There's a lot of people out there doing some fantastic videos, doing some fantastic productions. And, you know, some I see quite a few loner dudes, dudes that are loners or women that are loners, and they go out in the wilderness and they shoot these videos, and it's fabulous. You know, it's an artistic Statement for a lot of these individuals, like this one, the potato dude or whatever his name is, he goes out there and shoots some fabulous videos. His RV looks like a piece of crap, but, you know, but he's shooting these absolutely gorgeous videos of these landscapes in Canada, all over the United States, and he's, these are absolutely beautiful videos. He has a sort of poetic way about him, okay? He does some fantastic videos, and there are other individuals doing the same thing. One guy in Arizona lives by... Uh, Quartzite. He just goes everywhere. He shoots a video. Ninety percent of his videos driving to the place, but he makes a good living doing this. And he, you know, it's good. He got several RVs now. Just one. He got several RVs, and he's doing pretty good. So this person that I was watching today on the TV complain about these people uh, just constantly taking videos, constantly taking pictures, having to produce these videos is a strain. No, it is not. I enjoy taking pictures. If I had my druthers, I'd go out there right now and go somewhere and go take some pictures and shoot some video. I love doing that. I've been doing that since 1963 when I was 11 years old. I love it. And these people probably love it too. If you don't love it, you get out of it. You don't do it anymore. But a lot of people enjoy 
taking pictures, shooting video, uh, expressing themselves, you know, reading a poem about the fantasticness of the, the beauty of nature, or just uh, showing their kids running around and the family running around, uh, checking out the sights, or how to poop in a bucket, and this, or do a refrigerator, or, <laughs> or some sort of RV accessory uh, review. I see a lot of people doing reviews. Yeah, people enjoy these reviews. I learned a lot. Uh, last night I watched a couple reviews on DC refrigerator. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from these reviews. And of course you watch a lot of them so you don't just get one person's perspective. You know, some people want to poop in a bucket. Some people want to poop in a, uh, a fantastic 40-foot uh, Class A Prevo or Numor. There's different people for different takes, okay? Am I going to take a bunch of kids along? Nah, they're all 45 years old right now, living in Silicon Valley, and I'm going to just, it's just going to be my wife and I, okay? So I, I just wanted to express myself. I give us a little bit of a commentary, a little bit of a context for some of these people that are saying, hey, these people are, are just wasting their time taking pictures and video when they should just be sitting there and going, wow, that's a beautiful sunset. Yeah, you can do that. You turn on the camera shows the sunset and you sit there and you just watch the sunset. <clears throat> in fact, sometimes by using a camera you focus on the details and you focus on the image. As a photographer, you see things because you're, you're confined to that little space and you see things isolated from the background. So, you know, it's an opportunity for you as an artist, as a creative person, <clears throat> as a YouTuber to be, uh, you know, Share your experience with us. And I enjoy a lot of different experiences individuals are sharing with me on YouTube. And I hope to share some more as time goes on over the next few years, should I live so long. So I hope you're doing well during the COVID. Hope you're doing well financially. Hope you and your family are super healthy and happy. I'm relatively happy. I could be happier. I would love to be in the beach right now, but I'm stuck here at home sequestered. <laughs> Maybe in a couple weeks I'll go somewhere. So from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Garza. This has been my opinion, my commentary. Feel free to leave your comments and your personal opinions below. Just keep them professional and friendly. I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much ahead of time. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza giving my opinion a commentary. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.